So what am I going to reporting on today? We've got a new confirmed year, the, the official confirmed year for Universal's Epic Universe. <laughs> Hello there guys, my name is Chris Chadongstaborn, but built for Theme Park News and welcome to a Theme Park News update from Universal's Epic Universe. Now before we get started, make sure you go and check out our videos over the last few days. We've got plenty of interesting news updates that we've filmed and pre-recorded uh, from the likes of Ravensburger Spielland, uh, Fioravik, uh, we've got some pretty interesting ones, I'm sure, coming over the next few weeks as well. I'm sure we're going to have plenty of announcements over the time as well. We've got the recent announcement of Russia's tallest coaster rumouredly planned for 2020. So we're going to do an update on that over the next few days uh, and upload that during the week. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Once we get more details on it and stuff like that, I'll talk to you about that. Because I've got some interesting thoughts about that. But this update is on Universal's Epic Universe. Not the biggest update. But it's to sort of explain to you what's the whole situation, the new confirmed year, which is the new details that we got, and of course what we know about the project already if you are new to the channel. So before we get started, let's have a look then at the this new project basically. So for those of you who are new and haven't checked out our earlier updates, first of all, please go and check out those earlier updates. We did a video on the um, basically Universal setting the announcement date for this new park. And then we did a video explaining the whole part, which is nearly half an hour long, so I hope you withstand long videos. But this update is on the com confirmation of the opening year for the park, so we've finally got a confirmed opening year. Now, one person in the comments from the previous update we did on this, or something about this update and this whole park, said that he could bring, potentially could bring, construction updates from the park. And send them over to me so I can't remember your name off by heart but whoever commented on one of the previous updates or about this park in the past and said that you might be able to bring construction updates thank you very much uh, and if anyone does want to bring construct if, if anyone else wants to bring construction updates as well be my guest Instagram link is in the description down below at Aaron Chandler official all lowercase no spaces uh, <laughs> so the links in the description down below for the Instagram if you want to click on it uh, send some construction updates on Messenger uh, on the Messenger of Instagram. I'll give you a shout out as well, uh, and I can share those updates in a construct a bit of a construction series on this new park because I want to follow this park, and then by 2023 I want to actually visit this park in its opening year. That's the the long term goal for this child to try and make it out for the opening year of Epic Universe in 2023. So uh, it's a long term goal. It's a goal we may or may not achieve, but we do not surrender. So uh, let's go on then and talk to you about this park then. So this is opening in 2023, conf confirmed now. So this park is actually just a few minutes down the road from Universal Orlando uh, and all the rest of the parks in the Orlando Universal section like the Islands of Adventure, the water park, the hotels. Uh, and basically this is going to have uh, seven themed areas. You've got the hub area, you've got the classic monsters, you've got Fantastic Beasts, you've got the hotels. Uh, you've got Nintendo, you've got Hard Training Dragon, and you've also got this area around the dueling launch coaster. Now, according to RCDB Relic Coaster Database, we've only got one confirmed coaster, and that is the dueling launch coaster. Rumoured Vekoma, rumoured Intamin, rumoured Mac, someone said Mora Ride somewhere as well. I can't remember where, but I think that was mentioned a couple of times as well. Uh, so we don't know exactly about this coaster. I know there's a couple more coasters in the plans as well, including that new type of roller coaster thing to Donkey Kong for the Nintendo section at the back of the Nintendo section in that whole Donkey Kong jungle mini plaza of the Nintendo area. The, this Nintendo, rumouredly the name is set to be Nintendo County, but again, we don't know for sure about that. Obviously, the Fantastic Beasts area is going to have its own, well, looks to have its own Ministry of Magic, potentially a, a dark ride at the back. Um, we've also got classic monsters with the Dracula's Castle at the back. We've got the hotels. Uh, you've got How to Train a Dragon with that rumoured family coaster. I could see two Skyflies from Gerslauer as well. So a lot of attractions in the concept are for this co for this new park. Uh, so basically, yeah, there's only a couple of detail new details in this video. The fact that it's going to open in 2023, that's confirmed. 2023 is the confirmed opening year. And of course, this rumoured name for the Nintendo area that came from an article, this European uh, news article for theme parks and attractions, uh, said the rumouring... Uh, not exactly the rumoured name, but uh, he said in the article Nintendo County, which sounds like a good area name, so 
if it's going to be called Nintendo County, it would be pretty cool. Um, so only a couple of details. Like I said, not the, not the biggest update, but I just wanted to share my thoughts on it. 2023 is a good opening year. Good time to get all the attractions built and themed really well. I hear the actual ride system for the Donkey Kong uh, themed coaster experience. Uh, that's been testing in the back of a factory somewhere uh, in Europe, I think it is, or America or somewhere. Uh, it was on Reddit a while back and recently on Reddit as well, testing that whole uh, minecart coaster system um, and all the different features and stuff like that. So it should be pretty interesting to see that when it's installed uh, from the looks of it. Obviously, we don't know any, anything else about any attractions. Apparently, the attractions, like we've talked about in previous updates, will be revealed over time, over the next few years. So, uh, obviously, when attractions get revealed, we'll bring them to you in separate updates. And, of course, we'll bring you any other construction updates when we get them from people or from the park themselves. So, there we go. So, not the biggest update in the world on this part, but just a few updates to sort of bring up to speed with the rumoured name Nintendo County for one of the areas. And of course, the confirmation that this part will open for the 2023 season. So, we've got more than one coaster coming to this part. We definitely know that. But one coaster has officially been confirmed via Roller Coaster Database, and that is the Dueling Launch Coaster, which isn't looking to be part of the How to Train Your Dragons area. This will be part of the, the hub area. So, it won't have a specific IP of some sort, but it's reported to have a generic theme. So, should be pretty interesting how they're going to split off that How to Train Your Dragon area from the Dueling Launch Coaster because they are pretty close together. And if it is going to be a different theme to the area of How to Train Your Dragons, then again, it's going to be interesting to see how they're going to split that off, how it's going to separate them from the coaster, etc. Things like that. So thank you very much for watching this update, this small update on Epic Universe, Universal's Epic Universe, that's opening in 2023. Can't wait to follow this park. Can't wait to follow it. It's going to be brilliant to watch uh, the construction of this park. Uh, make sure you like the video if you've loved it. Comment your thoughts down below. Are you going to be there in 2023 for the opening day? I know I'm going to try my best. And click the notification bell so you never miss a video by subscribing to the channel as well. And for now, guys, my name is Ghost Chow, Keel in the Ghost Life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, have an awesome day, my friends.